Hey guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. We're going to take a look at MetaHero today and then and do some price analysis and have a look, see where this price is going. Been quite a bullish period for MetaHero as the um, the team has now launched Everdome. It's not taken any um, significant effects on the price of Hero, but if you look at Dome, the price is doing a nice, uh, nice move. Now it's currently around 30x up from the, the pre-sale price. Throughout this video, though, we'll take a look at Hero in mainly the, um, the the dollar pair, and have a look at the daily time frame and see what's going on in terms of price action. Since the all-time highs up at twenty six cent, which was in December, the markets in general have pulled back quite significantly. And what's happened here? Hero has had a major pullback, but I can imagine there was a lot of people in profit from Hero and. Whenever the markets are going down, people start to take profit. They look at the bags that are in the green, and most people's bags would have been in the green on Hero, so they've definitely taken profit here. And we've come down 83%. It's not perfect, but it happens a lot across cryptocurrency. Let's just have an example of VeChain. If we look at the all time highs, which was back then, uh, it was last year. We've had a pullback, and look at that. We've done a 83% pullback. It's the same across most assets, which it happens, people take profit, prices drop, but the price will return. Metahero is not going anywhere. It's a brand new project that only launched last year, um, and it will work in tandem with Everdown, like I say, which had a, a great launch, up 30x from, um, from the pre-sale price. Hero did the same. It did way over 100x, I believe, when it launched, um, and that's what it is. I mean, people are taking profit. So what we need to do is have a look at some price analysis. And for this, I want to go to a different chart, which has a bit more data. This is the Qcoin chart, but it's only got data back to 29th of October. If we look at this chart here, this has got from the 8th of July, and that's pretty much the day that it launched. So I've got one key level marked up here. This white level at 4.1 cent is a previous all-time high. When we did launch in July, we had a really, really good rally before we then consolidated, and we consolidated under this level of what it, well, was resistance then, but is now support. So for me, a little bit of a bearish uh, spin on it. If you're looking to buys, I would target buys down there at 4.1 cents, about 0 0.0413 to a T. I think that's an area where we could bounce, but remember, looking at this area here, this wick, we've had a nice bounce off that, a double bottom on the candles, and we pushed the upside. Uh, three days ago, we did have a bit of a red candle, but we are starting to climb those ladders again. If we drop onto the hourly time frame, you can see that we're just starting to churn up a little bit of a trend here. It's nothing too major, but you can see we are starting to form a trend and we are starting to pick up multiple taps in that trend. And fingers crossed, we do start to push on. This is the next level of resistance up here. Multiple wicks, multiple taps around this area at 5.8 cents. So for me, if you're looking for buys, I would ladder them in from this dot here, um, around 5.2 cent, all the way down to 4.1 cent. There's a good chance we may not drop down there because the, the crypto market in general is looking good. We are starting to push up Bitcoins um, back towards 45k, and ultimately it will drag the rest of the market up. But just be wary if Bitcoin did have a shakeout and started dropping back down um, sub 40k again, ultimately uh, more profit will be taken from here, and that will still start to drop down. So that's the thoughts there. Um, levels to buy i'm uh, just going back to the daily vote and what i want to do is look at levels to sell because obviously taking profit is key what we need to do on the way up we need to keep taking profit off and then skimming back in if you want to load back up on the lower prices so there's one key level i want to mark up here in terms of a rectangle we'll just put from this wick here red wick all the way through look at these wicks here two wicks there three four so that is a key area of resistance you can see it's been a fundamentally key area that we've bounced off several times. We did drop below it here, but we bounced, bounced around it here. We bounced there, bounced, and then we rejected right through it. So that is the next major level of resistance. You can see we've got a bit of resistance around here. We'll put around 6.5 cent is an area we need to flip. But for major profit taking, an area where I personally will be taking profit is here. This level at 9 cent. I think that's a good area and it's just below that area where a lot of people think the price will go. Everybody thinking right it's 10 cent incoming. Uh, most orders will get filled sub 10 cent. So if you're looking to to accumulate then that is the area you would look at at 9 cent. 
Obviously, I think personally, we will break through that at some stage, but we are looking for a push up, a rejection, maybe back down to this candle here, which is uh, around 7.5 cent, load back up, and then hopefully we'll break through it next time and then smash this area of resistance here around 11 cents. So that's some areas for you to buy. I've already mentioned them, 5.1 cent all the way down to 4.1 cent. And then levels to sell, we've got 9 cent and then we've got 11.5 cent. I think those are some good areas which you should look to target. Looking at the moving average, I use a 50 and a 20. We've had a bearish cross up here, which is on the 31st of December. And naturally, the price is starting to drop. When the price does start to push up, these moving averages here will start to get closer. And potentially, maybe within this next three to four weeks, we'll get a bullish cross if the market is to continue to churn out some all-time highs. Um, sorry, new price action. Um, and hopefully, if the market does start to correct back upwards, Hero will follow it. So that's the area. Um, areas for you to buy and areas to sell. But that's going to be pretty much it for this video in terms of analysis. Just some quick thoughts on mid Hero. I'm still holding. I have taken profit on this asset but that's what you should be doing too remember profit is king you can recycle that profit back into hero once it drops and that works on any single asset so that's going to do it if you're new to this channel please make sure that you are subscribed hit that like button and i'll catch you next time